uh, uh, Aaron Dobra is with us. She's a, a DNC Nevada a National Committee woman. Uh, uh, was at the event all day Saturday. Um, it's, I, I, you know, I, I've been trying to avoid dealing with this at great length on this program for two days, but it's just not gone away. So here we are. Um, Aaron, welcome back and thank you for hanging out with us. Um, we were just just talking just a moment ago and you were telling telling me how this uh, uh, young group of Sanders supporters, how, how uh, the chair, Roberta Lang, had set a rule that if you want to have anything considered, um, uh, motions considered from the floor, they have to be in writing and they have to be submitted by 930 in the morning, which seems impossible. But um, with 20 percent of the delegates having to sign it. And have 20 percent of the delegates there sign it. Okay. And what happened? Yeah. So that's where it makes it really impossible. Right. Right. Um, they, they did it. They got it. They got 10 of these petitions with the necessary signatures and she refused to accept their petition. Yeah. And the first time when uh, it was a young woman by the name of Angie Morelli got up for petitions, uh, they claimed afterwards that they couldn't hear her. And so then she came back with a bullhorn. And then they said it's against the rules to have bullhorns, and they took her bullhorn away. Wow! And these were and the, I mean, and the, and what these young people, these these young Bernie supporters, who are many of them, this is their first experience with politics. What they were asking for is the ability to run for to become candidates to run for positions like yours, like a like a committee person, uh, you know, to 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 be members of the Democratic Party. Do I have that right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. And they were told, no, we're not going to even allow you to, we're not going to even follow our own rules that we set up. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. That is correct. And they, now, still with this position, petitions, they would have still had to get two-thirds of the, uh, of the room vote. But right. they wouldn't even let them have the vote. Wow. And they probably wouldn't have gotten two-thirds if the room was 50-50 Hillary Bernie. And, and so, again, why is Roberta Lang doing this when she probably would have won anyway? And why, for that matter, is the Hillary campaign supportive of this when they would have won anyway? They're winning anyway. They're going to need these folks, you know, to win in the general. I don't understand it. I didn't understand it either, um, and honestly, there were a lot of Hillary people in that room that didn't understand it. Yeah, they didn't. You know, now, they. I, I'm sorry. Wanted these kids to be involved. Yeah, um, Barbara Boxer's been on TV a, a lot this morning. She was. She's been on CNN a couple times, or maybe it's been repeated a few times. I, I have it on here with the sound off. Um, and but I yesterday I saw a number of times, uh, particularly on MSNBC, uh, her being booed. But I had never actually heard what she had to say other than, hey, if you're booing me, you're booing Bernie. Um, I've got uh, just a quick 27 second clip. It, it's actually out of a 45 second one. There's a, a little piece in the middle where it just kind of, you know, where it, it just wandered into crowd noise that we clipped out. So this is a, a slightly edited piece, but I don't think it's the editing has uh, diminished the context here. Here is and, and and she's speaking to a group of roughly half Bernie supporters, half Hillary supporters. Uh, here's Barbara Boxer at the, at the convention. So, uh, you know, we, we missed actually a, a lot of what she said there, but three different times she said, you know, I'm for Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's going to win. Um, you know, basically it's over. Uh, that doesn't seem like a message of reconciliation to me. No. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not asking I'm, you I'm to not... criticize Barbara Boxer. I, I don't want to put no, you in that position. But no, no, and, I, and I'm a big fan of hers. Me too. Uh, what I honestly, what I honestly thought was the problem is I have no idea again why the Nevada State Democratic Party staff put her out there at that moment in time. Right. To, I mean, they put her right out in, in, when people were furious because they couldn't get their, you know, get their voice heard. And right. so I don't even know that it was. I mean, it probably some of the things that she said just made them even more angry but 
Well, saying three times in a row that Hillary is, I'm I'm here to support Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's going to win. Um, you know, she, you know that that when when you're in the middle of the process of deciding who you're going to vote for. Right. It, right. it seems anyway. I, I I don't want to turn this into going off on Barbara. I just I, I or on Senator Boxer, but I but I thought that the way that the press has handled this has been just totally weird. Well, and here's the other part of the story is that I talked to uh, Nina Turner yesterday, mm-hmm. and she was originally supposed to go on before Barbara Boxer, uh-huh. and for whatever reason, staff changed it at the last minute. And Nina would have been a much better person to put out there when when everyone was so angry. Yeah, to kind of calm uh, the calm the flames. Well, she ultimately did, and she's going to be on our program in a few minutes. But uh, Aaron, it, it has been a pleasure. Uh, talking with you, getting to know you here. I, I hope we can do this again. Aaron, thanks so much for being with us today. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.